Hey there, my fellow Blackheads and Cybertronians, Soundwave765 coming at you with the Mega Constructs Operation Throne Drop Pod ODST figure. Uh, I've been waiting for these for a while to come out. Got the first one, was not able to make a video of it, but here's the second one I came across. It's been uh, just waiting on this one. So here it is. There's the front, here's the back side. Shows you what you can do with it. Play feature, slam that down, and your guy pops out. You know, in game, he doesn't actually pop out though. Anyway, so. Ah! Enough jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look. Alright, so here we have the pod and trooper fully assembled. Uh, looks awesome. Quick, easy assembly. Takes a few minutes. The instructions are spot on. They're really simple to understand. Nothing gimmicky about it. And all the pieces fit here really well together. I was really happy with that. I know Omega Constructs in the past, known as Mega Blocks, did have some issues with production or uh, quality control when it came to some of those. But as far as the pot here, we'll set this guy aside for the second part. But as far as the pot itself goes, I mean, it's got some nice coloring on it. And you can see there's some silver wash on the front there. Now, the only thing I don't care for is when you come around the back side, it's not there. It's just that camo-y green with some metallic flakes in it. Would have been nice if they went all the way around on it. But on the front, uh, it looks awesome, especially since I'm just going to be displaying it, maybe doing some pictures with it for my Instagram account. But that's cool. And then here you have the bottom. So the whole thing is when you're the play features, it comes down, you pop it down, and that displays. And then on the inside, we can see in there. A little hard with the lighting. You've got the peg for the back, and then there's a hook accessory right there. Ooh, really tight fit though. And to be honest, I just don't feel like wrestling to get the figure in there to show. But that's just it. So this just pops off. Anyway. Let's take a close look at this figure here. Okay, okay, here is the ODST up close and personal. I mean, wow, look at the chest piece on there. That is awesome. Let's see if I can bring that a little closer for everybody. That looks sweet. I hope they do more figures like this, some more lines where you have more detail with the paint, this overall appearance. Awesome. And what's nice is the accessory, the weapon here, same thing. It's got a little bit of metallic flaking in there also for the SMG. Let's bring it around here. And then it just goes back to the ODST armor, which I like. I'm a fan of that armor. Oh, it's one of my favorites. There we go. And then just bring it around. Looks good. And they have the blue visor. Now there are a little bit of uh, spots here. Let me show you on the back side. Where there's some paint application issues. Right there you see just those little holes or scrapings and not too big of a deal it doesn't bother me that much i just yeah wish it wasn't there but i'll live with it it's nice all right guys so that's the figure let's just wrap this up so overall a fun set inexpensive 10 bucks i think it's a fair price for it. you get this cool accessory to go with here with the paint application and just for fun just to show you guys here here he is next to his other counterpart right here from the first one I found. Just unfortunately was not able to review this one. Uh, yeah, anyway, so if you see him, grab him, buy him. I think they're great. Until then, happy hunting, happy transformations, take care, and thank you again so much for watching the video. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, yeah. thumbs up, thumbs down for more guys. Take care. And don't forget to hit any of these buttons here for subscribing to my other videos.